okay? Right? Go ahead. Right over, straight over. No, 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 no. Right again. I try to make physics come alive by having my students have as many hands-on experiences as possible to learn the physics concepts. Uh, it's kind of my philosophy that the way to learn a concept is to start with students doing some sort of hands-on exploration and begin development of the, the concept that way. Did you see way. what I asked them to do? After we experienced the phenomenon, then we get together to talk about it and find out about the underlying principles. What's momentum? It's the mass times the velocity. It's the mass times the velocity of an object. What's it take to change an object's momentum? An impulse. An impulse. An impulse means? A force and a change in time. A force and a time. I've heard some people talk about learning occurs between this path from the hands to the brain rather than from the ears to the brain or from the eyes to the brain. And I, and I think I've, I've found that to be true. Today, what you're seeing are students that are in the early stages of our electricity unit. They are developing uh, this idea that something is moving when light bulbs light. Direct evidence that something is moving would imply what? That you could see it. Or that you could see it. Observe it. Observe it. And observe it doing what? Moving. Moving. Yeah. Is there any direct evidence? We were able to see a spark jumping from oh, okay. the wire. When that spark jumped, what did the compass do? As they connect the circuit, the compass moves in one direction. No matter which wire they put it on, the compass moves in one direction. If they change the orientation of the battery, the deflection of the compass is in the opposite direction. And as you've seen, the students have already come up with a model that kind of says that there appears to be something moving through the wires. What do you think is happening in the wires that makes the compass direction change? Matt. Well, I guess you could say the flow of the electricity possibly is moving in a different, di uh, different direction. It's supposed to react to like magnetism, basically, and that's sort of a form of electricity. So. What was our deal the other day? I instructed them when we started our unit to forget everything you know or think you know about electricity and let the experience drive your learning. I take that whole thing back. No, 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 no. I don't want you to take the whole thing back. But but what did, what did you say there that? The flow of electricity is differently. OK, so that something's flowing differently. What is it that you like about having these experiments and hands-on types of things? Alan? Um, I like that I can see what's happening. I can truly understand what's going on when I see the reaction for myself. Great. How about you, Amanda? And um, I like the fact that when you give um, hands-on experience, you learn, um, you learn to take um, key points from your observations instead of just coming to conclusions without, with some people just telling you what happened. Great. And Michelle? Um, yeah, it feels like uh, you learn about all these things. It feels like you discover them yourselves for the first time. And because you learn it more in depth, you learn uh, the whys about everything. So it fills in a lot of gaps. How about you, Matt? Does it seem like uh, you'll remember this a year from now? Uh, yeah, because you basically, from you using a hands-on experience, you learn it faster, I would think. And it's a lot easier to understand than just like being given definitions of something and trying to figure it out and put it together in your own mind, you're actually seeing it and you can remember it better that way. Physics is all around us. Physics describes the world. Uh, how sound moves across the room. Uh, what happens to light when it runs into another material. Yeah. How a car moves. So this is conservation of angular momentum. What drove me to teaching physics was the challenge to get as many people as scientifically aware, physics aware, physics literate as possible. And through the program that I try to run here, I want my students to be able to make decisions by gathering evidence. So that's why my hands-on program is this idea that here's the evidence, here's what we can learn from that evidence. Now, what can we do with that?